Let's take a look at this economic order quantity reorder point example. Okay, in the gray at the top, you can see the question. It says, Cartwright Graphics uses a special purpose paper on 80% of its jobs. The paper is purchased in 100 sheet packages at a cost of $100 per package. Management estimates that the cost of placing and receiving a typical order is $15, and the annual cost of carrying a package in inventory is $1.50. Cartwright uses 2,600 packages each year. Production is constant, and the lead time to receive an order is one week. Okay, now what they want us to determine is the economic order quantity. Well, there's the formula right there. Economic order quantity is the quantity is equal to 2 times dk over h. Okay, well, what do those variables mean? d is the annual demand quantity. K is the fixed cost per order, and H is the annual holding cost per unit, which some people call the carrying cost. Okay, now to solve this one, you can solve it in Excel by putting in the formula, and I've done that here in cell, what is this, I9 that you can see, and I'll hit the F2 to show you how I calculated it. I take, and you want to work from the inside parentheses working out, right? Now you can look above my mouse, or you can look up here where you can see the formula at the top as well. So I take, I'm just re, I'm doing the uh, numerator of the uh, for, formula now. 2 times 2,080, because 2,080 is the uh, annual volume, the annual demand, if you will, times 15. Now, you may have wondered, where did I come up with the 2,080? Well, let me just show you the 2,080 we would take 2,600 packages times 80% because they say that uh, only 80% is required on the jobs. That's where my 2,080 comes from. Okay, so I'll hit the formula again. 2 times 2,080 times 15. $15 was the, uh, uh, the, the order cost, so that that's... Uh, the K in our formula. So I'm taking 2 times 2,080 times K. I'm dividing it by H. H is the holding, the holding cost or the carrying cost, and they tell us that's $1.50. And then we need to take the square root of all of it. Well, the way I like to use the square root function in Excel is you put a parenthesis around the whole thing and take it to a power of 0 0.5. The caret key is the power function in Excel. Although there is a power function, there's also a square root function. I just find using the uh, shorthand operators to work the best. When I do that, I get 203.96. And the answer to this one is 203. You would round down to get 203. Now, let me show you how you can solve this one using an online calculator as well. Okay, now I've just jumped over to a website that has a, an online calculator, and there's a couple of them out there. Annual demand was 2,080, I believe. Uh, the carrying amount was, how much did we say the carrying amount was? H was uh, fifteen, $1.50, and the fixed cost per order was 15. And I hit calculate, and it does the math for us. Okay, and if I slide down, you get the 203.96. And I went ahead and put that little graphic right there on the screen so that you can see the calculator matches our math. And here's a, this is just a simple example, example of EOQ.